What's up, Block Fam? Block Heads? For those of you that don't like me saying Block Fam, y'all are my fam. What's up? What's up? What's up, dude? So, guys, I don't know if y'all saw in a recent video, but I did something that I've never done before. I don't know, it feels kind of weird, but uh, I mean, it makes sense to me, I guess. So, let's do the whole like little, you know, intro thing and and we'll talk about it. So yeah, I don't know if you guys caught this video, the part where I announced that. I've actually, like, I would say I'm thinking about naming this bike, but at this point, I pretty much already have since I announced it, right? It's out there. Basically referred to it as Godzilla. She's a monster. Think about naming her Godzilla. <laughs> All right, man, have a good one. But it just didn't feel quite right because, you know, Godzilla being like his blue little spikes and being like a reptilian monster, which makes me think green, right? I don't really do blue colors on any of my stuff or green, gold and black and red and black. I mentioned it to one person before and then I mentioned it to Shade Tree Surgeon as well. And uh, I'll drop that clip right here. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, brother? When are we doing this Road King battle? Road King Kong versus, wait, is there a name? So I think I'm gonna call it Goldzilla. Goldzilla? Goldzilla. Gold, yeah. Goldzilla? King Kong versus Goldzilla. The battle of the century. The movie I've been waiting for for years. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I have never really named a motorcycle. Uh, it's something that I mentioned in a video a while back. I think whenever I got my uh, CBR 1000 RR, I, I forget who I was riding with. I want to say it was Eric, but he basically said like, what are you going to name it? And I said, I don't name my bikes. I don't name my bikes. I don't name my bikes. I haven't named any of my bikes. And I know a lot of people do out there, but it's just not something that I've ever done. And I don't know why I don't do it. I think it's because in my opinion, once you name something, you form like more of an attachment to it, right? And with where I've been, like going through like the whole motorcycle journey, as I refer to it as Raptor. Yeah, going through this whole motorcycle journey and what I referred to as previously as getting my motorcycle legs. You know how they have that saying with people that like are on boats in the ocean, you gotta get your sea legs. So I've basically been going through this motorcycle journey for a couple years and you know, it's like I'm pretty settled on and know what I like at this point. And it took me a couple years to figure it out. And you know, there was bikes that I've liked through the process, bikes that I've owned that I did like, but I could see the cons of them or you know, didn't have them for kind of the application which they were made for, wasn't using them to their full potential. It's just been like a whole, a whole journey, you know? And so I've never named a motorcycle because it's just, I don't ever know if it'll stick around, you know? And maybe on like some deep psychological level, I've got like some kind of uh, anxiety or like separation and anxiety or some shit. <laughs> like I don't want to form an attachment to it because I don't want it to break my heart later. Whew, we could go deep down the rabbit hole with that one, guys. Man, anyways, uh, that won't even be a separate episode. We're just gonna leave that one there. I, I did kind of name a bike and that's the bike that started this channel, which was the uh, Harley Davidson Iron 883 Sportster that I, you know, that I bought and that I started making videos on. Many of you guys out there do know that story, but for those of you that don't know, uh, I ended up trading that bike in and didn't have it for about a year. And then I actually got the opportunity to buy it back, which was super cool. I didn't really name it, but I just started calling it the OG Iron 883, which in turn stuck as the OG iron and so I'm pretty sure I just call that one the OG and I don't know that that's really like a personality like name of a motorcycle I mean it is it is that bike's name now that's what I refer to it as but in terms of like actually giving it a name like it just kind of I don't even want to say like earned that name this is not my turn I totally I'm not supposed to be right here This is my turn. 
yeah, the, the OG Iron just kind of got that name. And then, like, I referenced it later in the video saying, like, I need to stop calling it the OG Iron 883 and just need to call it the OG Iron because we got plans for it. Hint, hint, hint. So this bike is the pretty much the first bike that I've ever, like, thought about giving a name to. Honestly, I think it's because I feel that attachment to this bike. And it's not that I didn't feel an attachment to previous bikes or I don't feel an attachment to my other bikes, but I don't know. Like, I've got how many miles on this thing? Let's see. 6,372 miles on this thing. And, like, those are my miles. Those belong to me. And I've put a good amount of, like, time, effort, and energy into this bike. I don't really see it going anywhere, you know? Especially after we did the 131. And, I mean, we're still mid-process of working on the 131. It's not going anywhere. But after doing something like that significant to a bike, you know, 131, like I'm not getting rid of this thing. <laughs> you know, it's gonna stick around for a long time. Anyways, I gotta run in to the store real quick and drop something off and I will be right back and we will continue talking about, you know, feeling connected to a motorcycle. Such a personal thing. All right, be right back. And we are back. So yeah, the psychology and all that stuff about, you know, forming an attachment to a motorcycle. I mean, motorcycles are very personal things, you know? It's like, especially once you get to, like, customizing them and all that stuff, you know, you make it your own. And part of that whole making your own is reflecting kind of, like, your preferences and taste. What I think is funny is how you guys, as subscribers, as viewers to the Blockhead channel, end up forming an attachment to my motorcycles. And what I think is funny about that is that you guys end up forming more of an attachment to my motorcycles than I do previously. Now with this one, this one's probably a little different. The reason I say that is because in my motorcycle journey, you know, I've sold bikes and traded bikes in and the amount of flack that I get sometimes from making those moves is kind of funny because, you know, people are like, I can't believe you got rid of that bike, you know, whatever comment it may be. And I can, I can appreciate that, you know, you guys having an enthusiasm for the bikes that I that I get and that, you know, we go through this experience with. I know a lot of reason people come to the channel is because of the, the bikes that, you know, I've got and I'm working on and all that. So that's totally understandable. And it's like on a, on a relatable level, you know, like on a, like we have something in common level, which is cool too. I think on that note, you guys were probably most upset whenever I uh, got rid of the Dyna Lowrider S. I mean, an absolute ton of people love that bike and I did too but I'm still of the same mindset like I got rid of it for a good reason because I didn't want to do it a disservice and do stuff to that bike that would take away from it being you know a Dyna Lowrider S like whenever Harley Davidson discontinued the Dyna line it was just kind of like man like okay this is going to be one of those rare bikes in the future two-year production and I need to I need to let it go because I wanted to do more to it. it didn't really make sense for me to take away from it being a, a Dyna Lowrider S you know that look and that style and that vibe so I traded it in for the FXDR and y'all hated that bike a majority of you guys did not like that bike I like the aesthetic of it in terms of practicality practicality just wasn't there but it kind of fit the for the style of riding uh, based on where I lived at the time, you know, it was just like an around town bike, even though it's a six speed, you know, Milwaukee 8114. So it's kind of funny to think. I don't even think I've actually said the name in this video yet, but I did flash it on the screen. So yeah, I'm naming this bike Goldzilla. I thought it was kind of clever. It's like Godzilla, but throw the L in there and you guys know my colors, black and gold. As of right now, I don't think it fully lives up to its name. I think it lives up to the name, the Zilla part of the name, because, you know, Zilla meaning like monster. It's just got that. I mean, y'all have seen me get on it here a few times, and that's not even like 100% getting on it. I mean, we're basically in the process of making this thing a monster, you know, and as of right now, it already screams, you know, and I've still got the two to two, you know, Bassani on it. We're going two to one. I've still got the uh, Screaming Eagle tuner on it. We're going with the Thunder Max. Like, we're gonna do a lot of stuff to just really awaken the beast within this thing. Like, right now, it's, we already took it from a 114 to a 131, so it, it's already a beast. We're just gonna inject it, you know, with testosterone and steroids, just amp this thing up. So we got the Zilla part underway, you know, we're making it 
we're making it into a beast but the gold part is lacking in my opinion however the ideas and the plans that i have for it incorporating more gold onto this bike is where it's really going to come alive and honor the gold part of the name goldzilla yeah so i'm not of the same mindset that i was with the dyna and i fully plan on doing like whatever the hell i want to this bike and you know, we're pretty much going down that route already in terms of uh incorporating more gold into it you know, I've got plans to do a lot more gold on here. One of the big ones being a custom paint job. Now, I've got somebody in mind who does like really awesome paint, but I don't know that their style so much matches up kind of with what I'm wanting to do. Like they have, the quality is just freaking amazing. In terms of the aesthetic of, maybe I should say like Dynabro, you know, paint jobs. Like, whenever you get a bunch of Dyna Bros together that have, like, these crazy custom paint jobs, like, it looks like Easter, you know? You got, like, blue and yellow and reds and greens, and I can definitely appreciate the craftsmanship, but I don't know. I'm just not, like, the biggest fan of, like, it, to me, it just kind of feels, like, flashy. And I'm, I'm just, I mean, if you guys can't really tell by, like, previous videos and, you know, bikes that... I've customized and all that stuff it's like I'm I'm really not into like super flashy gaudy you know out there I like using gold as like an accent color you know like little splashes of gold here and there to complement the overall look and I want to get a custom paint job where we're basically utilizing gloss black flat black and gold I've got an idea in my head of like how we're gonna accomplish that but I'm just hoping I can find a painter that can that I can kind of give my idea to and they can run with it and just make it something way more badass than what I have in my head. We'll see, I guess, if if they're able to do that. I guess that's, that's the plan, that's the ideas. That's the first bike that I've ever actually purposely given a name. This is my 2020 Harley-Davidson Softail Lowrider S Godzilla. I really appreciate you guys following along with the whole build and like working with Chris, Sick Wide Glide, you know, and getting this thing, I don't even want to say up and going, it was up and going beforehand, but like up and going and then some, you know, just like making it, like I said earlier, making it into a beast. A lot of you guys uh, commented up, you know, showing your appreciation of, you know, those videos because going through the install of it and talking about a lot of stuff that we're doing without getting too technical about it you know some people really like that tech heavy stuff but you know some people don't so we kind of tried to find a good balance you know in between of giving you guys like some useful information and teaching you about the motorcycle versus keeping it entertaining you know because obviously like we don't we don't want it to drag on whereas that tech stuff can get really kind of boring and just like drag out so yeah i don't know you guys let me know what you think goldzilla I can't freaking wait to just continue to, you know, put the effort into the direction that I see this, I see this bike going. I'm stoked. I hope you guys are too. I mean, that's at least two bikes that I, I just don't see going anywhere like ever. The OG Iron got the opportunity to buy that one back. And now, I mean, we got the 131 in this thing and we're really just kind of going for it, building it out. Whenever I told Eric the name, you know, cause like people were like, Godzilla, Godzilla. I was like, eh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Goldzilla. He was like, yes. I told Shade Tree, him and Shay liked it a lot. And then Eric told me, he's like, you need to make a t-shirt. I don't know what a t-shirt would be. I don't, what would a t-shirt look like for Goldzilla? <laughs> you guys drop your uh, thoughts and ideas if that would even be something that is of interest to you. And uh, maybe we'll get something going. I usually like to end videos off of like, you know, hey, if you guys like it, let me know. But like, I mean, naming a bike is such a personal thing. I don't care if you guys like it. It's my bike. <laughs> and that's, I'm not saying that like maliciously or like trying to pick a fight or anything like that, but it's kind of one of those things like, you know, if it's your bike, do whatever the hell you want to to it. You know, it's like nobody has to appreciate that but you. Like you're, you're the only, your opinion is the only one that matters when it comes to your motorcycle. So I hope you guys like it. I do. Come on. There you go. I named a bike, something I never do. Anyways. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just kind of my thought process, ranting and rambling, whatever. Old fashioned style moto vlog, I guess, right? Show you. If you did like it, 
hit that thumbs up button for me helps the channel a lot and um if y'all aren't subscribed already hit subscribe hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity and until next time ride safe stay vigilant catch you guys in the next one Peace.